In this video, I am going to be showing you NECO 2024 physics possible uh, practical on force board experiment. So here we have the force board and the drawing paper fist on it. Then we have uh, a string fist at point A and then the string is passed through pulley, C, pulley at C and then they will hang a mass M0 on it. And now it will be interesting for you to note that C, the pulleys at C may be at this point. Y point A will be at this point. And the mass will then hang over this point. So the, whatever the case may be. And also the masses may be interchanged. The mass M0, which is sealed, may be placed at the middle. And this other mass placed at the other side. So it's a possibility. But for what we have on ground, this will just be a guide. And take note that this is a possible question based on the uh, materials that you are asked to provide. So this could be uh, one of the questions anyway. Or it could be the question anyway. Uh, so without uh, wasting much of our time, let us quickly rush through this and read through the instruction. Okay, in the diagram, a thread AC, so this is the thread AC, fist at A, so it's fist here, passes over pulley C, so this is pulley C, on a force board and carries an unknown mass, M0. So you see the mass is unknown, M0. Retain this mass, M0, throughout the experiment. Okay, draw a line along the direction of AC on the paper head behind the thread so there's going to be a thread here and uh, you draw the outline of ac it will be advisable for point a to be on the paper and point c to also be inside of the paper so that you can trace that outline outside okay so locate the midpoint b of ac so after drawing ac you measure the length and determine the center of that line and label it what b of AC and mark its position on this line. Draw BP at right angles to AC. BP or BO. So we have this. You draw this uh this one through this place this way. Okay, so you're going to draw it that way. Then by means of a loop of thread, suspend a mass M is equal to 10 grams. So by a simple thread that you pass through this point, you suspend a mass on it. And that mass will be 10 gram from AC and adjust the position of the loop so that the line of action of the weight of M lies along with BP. So it's going to line along this or BO. So on this case, it's BO. So you're going to, uh, this is supposed to be BO. So you, you're going to uh, put the line of action of this mass. It must be on this. Okay. Ensure that M and M or M naught hang of the force ball so do not allow the mass the two masses to touch the force board measure bo so you can see bo is uh the uh, length of this and you're you going to call that y bo is equal to y and ao so this is ao and then evaluate y over ao repeat the experiment for m equals 20 30 40 and 50 grams respectively in each case determine the corresponding values of y a no a o and y over a o tabulate your reading so from here uh, like as, as usual what i normally do is to take down my composite table before carrying out the experiment so for me you can see that we're going to have a column for masses we're going to have a column for y we're going to have a column for a naught, A O rather, and Y over A O. So my table is going to look like this. So I'm going to have the mass in gram, measured in gram. Then I have 10.0 gram. Please to just write this to at least one decimal place. Do not write it, just leave it as 10. Write it to at least one decimal place. Then I have 20.0, 30.0. 40.0 and 50.0 next i'm going to have the column for y 
and that will be measured in centimeter y will be measured in centimeter then i'm going to have ao also ao is measured in centimeter then finally i'm going to have y over ao notice that i did not put a unit on this this is because uh, y is in centimeter and ao is in centimeter they cancel out each other so we have to plot a graph of y over a o on the vertical axis and m on the horizontal axis determine the slope s of the graph state two precautions taken to ensure accurate result attach your traces to your answer script so it's very important that you draw neat traces because it's going to be attached to the drawing uh, to your answer sheet so this is my uh, table and uh, let's just go ahead and carry out this experiment and then possibly we plot the graph so let us hit the experiment now okay so this is my setup and here this end of this string is fixed to this end and the other end is passed through a tool and here we have the 30 grammars used on this uh, hanger here so the whole of this the whole of the system then the both the hanger and this is exactly uh, 30 30 grams so this is 30 grams then the uh, first you have to do is to measure and uh, to draw the length of this so i'm going to use the shadow of this and at the back of this to draw the length of this so i'm going to place it this way And I'll draw out the outline on the shadow. Transparent ruler. If you use a transparent ruler, you'll be able to see the piece of paper so that you can draw accurate lines. So I'm going to place this on this. This is on one of the markings. Then I'll draw a straight line across this. This way. Okay, so I'm going to return this back to this so that the shadow will be exactly on the map. So what I'm going to do is this. I've already tied this pair. A small string on this, so this will be placed through the center. So the next one after this, we we'll take the 10 grammars. So I'm going to take the 10 grammars and place it on the string. And we're going to note the, the pressure. So I'm going to take it close to put it at the middle of this one. So you can use our your pen or pencil to check if that is. So that's the middle. Then I'm going to check the depression from it. So what you want, you want to do is that the masses should not touch the table. So you can move it closer in the So get closer points on this. So this is the you know, So what I'm going to do is just uh, mark the point there. So I'm going to mark that point there. Okay? 
Next, I'll remove the mask. The mask. And I'm going to place the 20 gram mask. I'll place the 20 gram mask. Okay. Then I just this at the middle. Then I'm going to mark the depression again. I'm just put it on top of this. Put at the middle and mark the line there like this. Next, I'm going to add the 10 grams to this to make it 30 grams. Then I'm going to mark, I'll adjust this at the middle again. Then I'm going to mark that point again. Okay, next is going to be 40 grams. Just remove the 10 grams. Add another 10 grams. And see what happens. So that's 40 grams. Again, I'm going to mark this at this point. And finally, I'm going to add 10 grams again to make it 50 grams. In all of this, you must always adjust this to be at the midpoint. So again, I'm going to mark the depression on this. Okay, so the next thing I have to do, I'll just uh, have to remove my board. Then I'll join this point to this point to get my A and Y. So, so now I can now write A C on this. So this is my A and this is my C and the midpoint is B. Then the next thing I have to do is to join these points. So it's better to do it this way. Okay, let me do it this way. Join the points. Then I'm going to join the other points again. Okay, there's one here. Let me join this first. Okay, then next, I'll join this point also. Join this point. This and this. So these are the points. So the next thing I have to do is to just take the measurements. Is to take the measurements and record them. So I'm going to measure this. I'm going to measure this part. Then I'll measure all of this. Okay. So uh, I'll just take my police my ruler on this and take all these measurements at once. So this is going to be uh, okay. I'm going to start this from the zero mark, and I'm going to place this this way. So this would be uh, from here to here. This is one point. Five, six, seven, eight, one point eight. So I'm going to record that as one point eight zero. Then the next one, uh, this is two point nine. So I'm going to record two point nine zero. Next, I'm going to have three point one two. 3.30 Next, I'm going to record it as 4.5.6 4.60 And finally, I'm going to have this as 5.50 Okay, so these are my readings for Y. So the next uh, one I have to measure now is a O. So we have to uh, measure A O. So I'm going to place this here at the zero mark. 
and measure this down to this. This is 11.1. So I'm going to record as 11.10. Then I'll push it down this way. And this is 11.40. Then next, I'll push it down this way. This is 11.5678, 11.80. Then I move it down this way. This is 12.00. And finally, I move it down to this point. And this is 12.123. Twelve point one one two three four twelve point four zero. So these are my readings. Then I will then evaluate y over a zero. Then we we'll plot the graph. Okay. So these are my values. Y over a o evaluated to three significant figures or three decimal places so this these are evaluated uh, values so you have to evaluate them to at least three significant figures so that's what i've done now uh, all we need to do is to plot is to plot the graph of y over a o on the vertical axis and m on the horizontal axis. So what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to uh, mark out my points. I'm going to mark out my points. So what I'm going to do is this. So you can see uh, the values of this are from 0 0.16 to 0 0.44. So I'm going to shift this to 0 and take this to 0 0.5. So I'm going to take 2 cm on this, 2 cm. From here to here is 2 cm to 0 0.1 unit because there's no unit for this and for this it's very easy so i'm going to take a uh, 2 cm to 10 grams on this side so 2 cm to 10 grams so let me uh just draw my x and y as is Then I'm going to draw my x axis somewhere around this so as to be able to get a negative intercept if you are asked to do that. So I'm going to draw this through this place. Okay. So this is going to be zero. So I'm going to have zero. Point one, zero point two, zero point three, zero point four, zero point five. But I have to increase this up so that I'll use a lot a, a bigger space of this. So I'm going to increase this to zero point six, zero point seven. 0 0.8 so this uh is y all over a o then on this side i'm going to have 10 20 30 40 50 i will extend it to 60 70 80. So I'm going to put on this side um, M in grams. So let's I plot the point. So what we, are, what we can do is that we can approximate all of these to, um, 
two decimal places. So we can just uh, approximate it to two decimal places and take the readings of this. So this would be 0 0.16. So we can read off 0 0.16 off here because the, the whole of this is 0 0.01. Each of the small squares, 0 0.01, 0 0.02, 0 0.03, 0 0.04, 0 0.05, 0 0.06, 0 0.07, 8, 0 0.09 and 0 0.2 so each of the small squares 0 0.01 so we can just approximate them to 0 0.16 0 0.25 0 0.28 0 0.38 0 0.44 so we are going to plot um 10 grams for 0 0.62 so i'm going to place this on 10 grams this is 10 grams uh 0 0.1 2 3 Four, five, six. So I'm going to put a circle here, a dot here, then circle that. Then the next one is 20 for 0 0.25. So I have 20, and this is a 0 0.2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's 0 0.25. I put a dot there and circle it then i'm going to have the next one is 30 for 0 0.28 so this is 30 and this is 0 0.1 point 0.2 point 0.3 point 0.28 i'll put a dot here and circle it and the next one is 40 for 0 0.38 40 so this is 0 0.3 0 0.4 Three eight would be here, so I'll circle it, and finally the last one would be fifty for zero point four four. So we'll just approximate to zero point four fifty. This is zero point four one two. So fifty for zero point four four. So we we'll approximate that to zero point four four. So we have fifty. This is fifty. 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 1, 2, 3, 4. So I'll put a second. So the next thing I have to do is to find my line of best. It's always good to use a transparent uh, ruler so that you can see, you'll be able to see how to draw that. But I don't have that here. So I'm going to draw this through any of these three points such that two would be out. So I think it fits into this this and this so i'm going to draw through these three so it's not complete that must pass through the center as long as it touches any part of the circle so that's my line of best so i can take any point on this and draw a large triangle to calculate the determine the slope so i'm going to draw this from this point here from this point, so I'm going to trace this downward. So I'll trace this point. Then I'll draw through this point to touch the straight line on this part. And I'm going to trace this point downward. Okay, so it's very important to be able to read off these points correctly. So this would be change in Y over AO. And this would be change in the mass M. So we can calculate the slope as X is equal to, so read off this point here. For this is 0 0.5, 0 0.51, 0 0.52, 0 0.53. So I'm going to write 0 0.53 minus 
then you read off this other point here exactly on 0 0.1 0 divided by so you read off this point that's 60 minus this other point here this will be 0 point okay so the whole of this is 10 so each of the small square would should be 1 2 3 4 4.5 because it's at the midpoint here 4.5 so I'm going to have 4.5 so when I work this out I'm going to have a 0 0.43 divided by 60 minus 4.5 as equal to 55.5 so 0 0.43 so this one is in grams 0 0.43 divided by 55.5 as 7.75 7 times 10 raised to the power minus 3 per grams because there's no unit for this so that's the um, slope if you're asked to find the intercept you can read off the intercept from here so just count this this is a uh, 0 0.0 0 0.01 0 0.02 0 0.03 0 0.04 0 0.05 0 0.06 0.07 so the intercept c is equal to 0 0.07 so you can put the title of the graph here so the title of the graph is graph of y over a o against m in grams and you can also uh, write your scale so the scale on the y over a o axis i have 2 cm to 0 0.1 unit so i write unit here because there's no unit for this then on the m axis we have 2 cm to uh, 1 to 10 grams because we have 10 grams on this to 10 grams okay so that's uh, basically the graph it's very easy so that's the graph for the experiment